I'm Dave. I'm Steve. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome <laughs> to another episode of d &J Projects. So, this week at d &J Projects, it is mostly going to be James's job. Big James's job. We've got the job going off up the road. We'll show you that. That job is going to be tarmac next week because we are cold. Freezing. It's very cold. We're using frostproof uh, in the mix up there. So probably stop mixing about 12 o'clock up there. We will show you uh, if it is light enough. If not, we'll show you tomorrow morning the progress we've been made on that job up there. This job is taking shape. It really is. Uh, is a lot of digging to be done. Hell of a lot of digging to be done. But we're smashing it. The crusher is coming into its own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where that crusher really it does come into its own. Like we, it's like we moved the yard here. That's it, yeah, literally. We haven't taken any spoil away yet. Nothing whatsoever. What spoil we do take away, we'll let you know. Obviously, we have got the piles of wood and the logs and stuff. People are coming to get the logs. And we've got a couple of bags of rubbish and polystyrene and stuff, which we will get rid of. But yeah, it's cold, the diggers and the dumper warming up around the back. Why I've got you, let's hit a light goal. I'll, I'll pick this one. Yep. 3,000 likes in 24 hours. It's an easy one, guys. Yeah, they've got that. Oh, yeah, they've, they've got, got that. that, yeah. Yeah, they've got it. Come on, let's but, smash it out. As you can see, we've got a lot to do. So as Dad says, let's smash it out. We're going to start off with a bit of finnabar, crushing and digging, loading. A bit of everything guys, let's get it! Busy. We're taking it down to depth, ready for some stone. I'm tired, but we love this game. So we found this under the ground. Don't know what it is. I've literally no idea what it is, but we're trying to get it out. But yeah, what, what, what would that be, guys? What would it be? Claws coming into its own look, perfect. Oh. There we go, baby. Well, you can't beat the claw. We won't be picking that up by hand, would we, guys? Crazy. Guys, 
it is, what day is it? Wednesday. New video day. If you don't watch it, make sure you go watch it. This is what we're doing, look. Oh, uh, there we go. Feeling drained. Feeling drained. <laughs> oh, I can't even get this out of the way. Sorry, guys. In fact, I can. I'll spin you. Feeling drained. So what we're going to do, we've got to get that on there. This is a... 35? 30. 30. Very close. Need more angle. Yeah. Might be able to move that a little bit. The idea is get that on there. So that'll be in on there. And then I'm not right. So I'll take that off there, get that on there. There. Now we can get the French drain in, can't we? Yep. Uh, French drain connected to the other side as well. Just got to be careful of that gas pipe that's running in yeah, the way we want to go. See if we can chase the gas pipe part. See where it goes. I think it crosses that path over there, doesn't it? Yeah. It definitely has got to go up there somewhere. We've had encounters with it before, so just can't remember yeah. where. Busy, 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 lads. Crushing the last little bits. Then we've got the, where the gate is to pull out. Once this is in, though, we'll start putting levels back in, so then we'll know where we're at. We'll start taking shape, lads. Yeah. Well, we'll just get to it, guys. Yeah, there guys, progress. This is for the land drain. It's the, the special membrane, I thought it was put. Special membrane we put around the crates. Exactly the same. It lets water penetrate through, but doesn't let stuff come back, like debris and that. So we're gonna put a bit of pea gravel, 20 mil pea gravel in the bottom of the trench. Then we'll put our soak away pipe, which is perforated, just in the top with a layer of pea gravel and then it goes into that drain and that drain so any in turn any water that comes off the land will filter down into this pipe and go into drainage so we'll never be flooded again in theory yeah because i remember our, dr our driveway is permeable and it would be being clay it's not going to go nowhere Ooh. any little bit helps it did used to have soakway before lot but i don't know where it went they want a lot of pea gravel on it, wasn't they? Yeah, nothing. But yeah, it's, it's, it's cracking on. There's gas pipes going in as well, so there's a tea, uh, gas engineer's coming to put a T on the gas pipe. Just put it and then tail it off down there for future projects. Yep. Watch this space. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what we're doing. Glad to slowly push it away, getting that pile. They should have that done by the time we've done this. And then we can start getting some levels back in. This won't be filled in today because we ain't got the gas pipe. We want to put the gas pipe behind the membrane back in. Yeah, it's coming on, mate, isn't it? Mm. Coming on, it is cold. Isn't it? it is cold. Really cold. I don't know if I've got a heated seat in my ass, <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's cold when you stop working. It is. 
Yeah, that's what we do it. Just crush piles everywhere, guys. Yeah, it's just piles everywhere. And it's going to go nowhere. <laughs> more stones. Yeah, but saving the planet one brick at a time. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Once we start putting it in, we'll catch back up. Yeah, boy. Before anyone says why aren't you using the dumper, it was just getting full full of bricks. Now they're gonna get tipped, ready for the crusher, and we will be using the dumper for all of this. Good morning. It is a cold one today. It is me. It is Scotty to Hotty. And it is dumper and digger today. We are shifting more muck and doing some more digging out. Finn is off today. We got Stevie on quotes. We have got Ant, Mason, Jordan in the concrete side. Just doing a few bits we need. We're not going to go over the top. We do put a frost retarder in the mix in winter time. 
can get quite expensive. So they are in there smashing it out today because need to make for posts. But yeah, form them to fit some machine up, let them tick over, get the engines nice and warm. It's cold, but it's not, not that cold. It isn't that cold, to be fair. And so the sun's coming up behind me. So yeah, we're going to have a lovely day today, just shifting. We made some serious progress last yesterday. Some serious progress. So let me just show you. That's still exposed because we need to put a gully pot on that and connect it up. That's still exposed because it's a hole to be core drilled through there. This bit of fancy drainage work's done. French drain's done. Land drain, that's done there. So the idea of that, the water penetrates the stone, hits the land drain, goes down into that. And then there's drainage system with holes, perforated pipe, which takes the water away. Reconnected the one over there. Don't know if it does anything, but belt and braces, put it in, we had some pipe anyway. Got the majority of this stoned up, getting some levels in, you can see the string lines. Let's say we're just waiting for the gas pipe, so we we'll put a bit of gas pipe in there, take it across there, then we can do levels near the house. But our main job today is shift that pile up over there, probably put it down here ready for crushing, and then shift them piles over to where I'm stood now. But first job is warm up, get the machines warmed up, get them around here, and let's start. Always fun and games at DJ projects. Look at that. So we're not getting no fuel. It's all gunked up, so what? The extension Yeah, have a look. The keys they're just behind the seat. So yeah, just gonna get this wiped off and blew out just so we can get by today. And then I think we've got a new airfield for it. Ticking over like a good one. I think the filter was just blocked, so we've cleaned both filters out, the air filter and the fuel filter. We're gonna get a wheel now and crack on. Stevie's with us now, he's just down there. What we're gonna do, make flip vantage while Stevie's here, because he's got another quote to do at four o'clock. We're gonna get rid of this soil here and start leveling off where we were. Just pull off that a minute, shift this, and then we can always jump back on, on that over there afterwards. <laughs> Got a new toy we're trying out, just testing it. it, it follows you. Yeah. So, about five meters away, it's all right. We, we thought, bang on, we had to follow the dump around, but yeah. you just don't quite catch it. Too far away. Yeah, too far away, but it's a good little kit, piece of kit. 
uh, it's going to work good on blocks, mate, won't it? Mm -hmm. When we're doing a bit of block work and resin, so yes. it might follow us around. So stay tuned. See if you can notice when we are using it. Take me up to heaven. 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 Yeah, she got me reaching still. Still, still, still. Nothing to stop me falling. Who knew that looks could kill? I don't wonder why I'm breathing heavy like the weight of it's on my chest. On my chest, cause it ain't no lie. Taking out this edge right here, leveling ground off. It actually looks really level. Of course, there's going to be proper topsoil on top of this. I don't think we're just chucking it anywhere. But yeah, it's more about the drive, obviously, and then we can worry about that sort of after. That's the plan. But it's more about the drive before we worry about that. But it's somewhere to go. Obviously, it's cheaper than James paying for. Oh God. 15 grab loads when we can just spread it make it look good and then obviously worry about it at a later date yeah see if that's going to say you know where it's going don't you mate near the panels you got out to say to them freezing freezing i mean dumper's playing up yeah dumper is but touch wood it's it's doing all right right now but yeah but for now, what we need it right now, it's doing all right. If I don't do it, then the struggler's going to be doing it. Yeah. Right. Haven't been up in a while, has it? Yeah. No. Haven't been up. I've got no job stuff. Yeah. Right. I've got to go down there because I've got some raking to do. One foot on the ladder. 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 Yeah, you know she got me climbing still. Nothing to stop me falling on oh, Who knew that looks could kill I don't wonder why I'm breathing Heavy like the weight of this on my chest On oh, my chest Minus two <whistles> Minus two, look at this I bet it's colder than that as well But Good thing about Fords. Got that button there. And pickles is being noisy. That's what I'm talking about. Don't you just love that button? Good morning. It is definitely a frosty one this morning. What we're doing today, we are on crushing. We're getting the final bits crushed. So we can move the crusher out of here, get it back to the yard. Uh, need to get that dumper back because it is playing up. We need to get the tank flushed out, cleaned out. I was going to save it for a job for the struggler, but I don't think it's going to last. So I'll get it back, get the tank flushed out, and then we'll bring it back on Monday. But yeah, it's me and Finn to start with. We've got a nice big pile to get crushed. We've got that last little bit of soil to dig out, and then all the digging is done. Just get in the drone out, see if it's charged up. I was going to send the drone up and then and mark with spray paint and get the shape of the drive finalised. Things like there just greasing the machines up. I'm going to get the sanding started up because I bet it's frozen and crack on with this pile. She's cold today, boys. She is cold today. Woo. I'm so glad. I bought that heated seat. I'm so glad. It is like an icebox. So we'll get it warmed up, do some greasing. I need to grease that one there. Well, I've got to take that, that plate off because it's been caught. 
yeah, it's bent it in again. So it's that plate off, get that one grease there, kingpin, all the moving parts. First off, we'll get it warmed up, get our heated seat on. Let's get greased up. Defrosted, sun's coming up, dumps over there, this defrosting, crushes out. Just this pile to do. Halfway through the pile, half past 11. So another couple of hours, that'd be gone. Make some really, really good crushed as well. We have been tarmacking it. Well, we'll set you up. I'm gonna drag that across now. We'll just set you up here for a little bit. morning it's friday morning frosty one fencing's fell down a lot of wind damage to these fences believe it or not my first ever job for d j projects full time so around about three years later because i'm three years into the company full time i installed these panels still looking good we didn't do the posts we didn't do the posts posts are already in post has failed not bad for three years. Yeah, it's a uh, replacer post, two new panels right there. A couple of spur posts, three spur, po three spur posts, just on some of the posts that have just got a bit of a wobble. I actually put a spur post in over there before. So yeah, I'm by myself at the minute because Scott's got to take his car to the garage. So what I'm going to do is going to sort of get prepped up first, guys. And when I can film a bit, I'll show you. So, spur post time. I've been busy guys, it's been about an hour, so a little bit of an alleyway, all right, show you what we've done, still me, 
Scott is on his way back there. So we've leveled off panel to panel. And then, well, I've just been digging holes. Just done, I've dug them already, look. So I'll show you. One there, one there, and then one over there, guys. Agreed with a customer, we'll do three, three spur posts. So, I found the three weakest posts. And for anyone wondering, this is a spur post. See how far it goes in the ground? Quite a bit, still good two foot. Otherwise, known as a godfather post, old school. But yeah, so what you do, you chuck it in the hole, flush up with a post, nice and level of course. Use something like this to go through the post into the timber, tie into it, not too long. You don't want to be piercing out the back unless there's nothing there. Um, gonna put a washer on these as well. Where are they? Oh, these gloves, we've got thick gloves now, but you can't you can't feel anything. Oh my god. Narnia, this pocket. Some washers that we sell in the shop if you're interested. Yeah, just chuck it in. Put it up close. Oh, trick as well for these uh, screw bits. Put your post all flush together and then tap it with a hammer to screw into the back post so it bites into it so you can sort of let go and you can screw into it. Much easier, guys. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. Post fix. Going to be obviously cleaning it. Um, bolts, washers. You see them? Washers. The key is not to go too, too tight because you can crack posts. Done. See the washers as well. And that bad boy over there, all done and dusted, guys. Oh, oh that just caught on me, that did. That was a bit painful. Yeah, two more full bags and we're good. Two, three, and panels. I'm all done, guys. Should have probably filmed a bit more, but proof's in the pudding. You can fence by yourself if you've got a little bit of experience and you sort of know what you're doing, I guess. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, screwing those panels in, holding up a panel, because you have to bear in mind the panels are off the floor, look. Trying to hold the panels up and screw at the same time, a little bit tricky. But of course, boys and girls at d &J, we always get it done. Figure out what we're doing with this though. It's quite heavy and quite full. That's it, all the concrete's crushed off site now. Every last little bit. All we've got left is some gnomes. We're gonna get it out crushed now.
That's the final bit. Because they want to go up. But well, that is the final bit. It's all crushed now. Now it's levels. And see if we do need any more crushed. So progress so far. We have oh, nearly, nearly got it all stoned up. We haven't got it rolled or whacked or two levels where it's near enough. It's near enough. Behind me, we're just waiting for that guy, the uh, gas man to come put the gas pipe in. But it is getting somewhere. Didn't get a chance to get the drone up, unfortunately. But we're going to be on this for a few weeks, though. At some point, we will get that drone up. We're taking the crusher back. Things just getting it on. Uh, I was trying to get the dumper on as well, but we couldn't get the dumper on. So I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow with a plant trailer for a dumper because I'm gonna have to take that tank off, like I said. But yeah, I think Stevie's up the road, he's just finishing off up there. Finn's gonna go and get the diesel cans and his bag, and we are good to go. So then guys, that right there is another day and another week at D and J Projects. It's a pleasure having you guys click on the video. It really does mean the world to myself and my dad. Keep up with all your comments. I really do appreciate it, guys. But yeah, another day, another week at D and J. We'll see you in the next one.